what to expect during the examination. There's a lot to remember on the day of the exam. Here are some do's and don'ts that will make your exam go as smoothly as possible. Do. Remember to bring your government-issued photo ID and your admission to exam notice. You will not be allowed into the exam without these. Use the washroom before entering the exam. You won't be allowed to leave while writing. Arrive 10 to 15 minutes early. Be sure to account for things like weather and traffic. If you arrive late, you will not be given extra time to finish the exam. Don't. Bring your own calculators, pens, pencils, pencil cases, food, and beverages, including water. Bring notes, textbooks, smartphones, earplugs, or headphones into the exam area. Wear a hat of any kind. All items, including purses and backpacks, must be left at the front of the room. Speak once the exam has begun. You will be given a calculator and a pencil for filling in the identification numbers and answers on the computer answer sheet. The content of the examination is confidential between you and the Canadian Society for Medical Laboratory Science, CSMLS, and is not to be discussed or shared with anyone, including the exam monitor. If you are found using notes or reference material of any kind, you will be dismissed from the exam, receive a score of zero, and an investigation of academic integrity will be conducted. Each exam package is sealed with a CSMLS security tape and is to be opened only by you. You must sign the CSMLS exam security agreement and return it with your exam materials. We will not mark your exam if it isn't signed. We recommend signing the exam security agreement before you start the exam. The exam monitor will supervise each exam session. Some examinations may be filmed for security reasons. Candidates should use back pages of the test book for rough notes and calculations. Loose paper is not provided. You must stop writing immediately when the monitor says time is up. When you finish the exam, you must put the following materials in the return envelope and double check that everything is in the envelope before you seal it. This includes signed exam security agreement, computer answer sheet, test book, comment sheet and rough notes, outer envelope, admission to examination notice. Before you leave the exam, make sure all questions are answered, your exam security agreement is signed, and your name and CSMLS ID number is on the score sheet. You won't be allowed access to your exam materials once you have handed them in, so double check everything one last time. What is the structure of a CSMLS certification examination? The CSMLS examinations are competency-based exams. This means the exam focuses on your ability to apply your knowledge in a laboratory. There are no study guides or books for the CSMLS exam. You'll have to put together your own study notes. Examination blueprints are located within the competency profiles online. These illustrate the percentage of marks on the exam in each category. Use these blueprints to develop your study notes and prioritize your study time. The CSMLS exam uses the following three kinds of questions, recall, application, and critical thinking. A recall question requires only knowledge. For example, what is the normal habitat of a grizzly bear? An application question requires the use of knowledge and reasoning to solve a problem. For example, a grizzly bear gives birth to a cub as hibernation ends. How many bears will emerge from the den? Critical thinking questions use the analysis of complex information. For example, a scientist in the Arctic sustained severe lacerations and deep puncture wounds from being mauled by a bear. What is the most likely color of the bear? Construction of a multiple choice question. The STEM presents the candidate with a question or problem. The options presents four choices in the form of words, statements, or numbers. The distractors are plausible, but incorrect options intended to distract. Questions are referenced to a competency. Answers are referenced to a textbook, including the page. What does the exam look like? The exam is mostly made up of multiple choice questions. These questions have only one acceptable answer. One mark will be allotted for each correct answer. There are no multi-choice answers. Tips for answering multiple choice questions. Multiple choice questions can look daunting, but follow these tips to help you through the exam. During the exam, read the questions carefully. All of the answers may look good, but only one is actually correct. Try covering the multiple choice options and reading the question. Answer the question in your head before revealing the options. Ensure the bubble answer matches the question. Watch your time. If you get stuck on a question, skip it and move on. Come back to it when you have time. Erase with caution. Candidates most often second-guess their instinct. 